What's up guys and gals, Mirror Mask here. We're gonna do a little trail ride today. I noticed when I was watching that video back um, that I made, I think it was the last video I made, I noticed that there was a trail off to the right hand side. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna go explore that today. I don't know if you guys noticed, I got my new brush guards in and I'm wearing my body armor shirt, the Chinese one. The one that's like 40 bucks. Whoop. I adjusted my my levers a little bit, so I'm getting used to my clutch cable. Or not cable, my lever. So we're gonna ease off up here to the right. And um, I, it goes back into these woods and stuff over here. Let me shut my visor. Um, hmm, somebody's here. Well, maybe we won't take this trail. I don't know who's here, but we're gonna ease on back around. That's all right, I found a different trail we can take um, after watching that video back too. I noticed that the one of the four-wheeler trails that we used to take um, back behind my dad's land um, had, had a fence up. But then I noticed like the fence was open and I rode down there uh, yesterday evening uh, a little uh, right before dark. And I was like, hmm, yeah, I could, I could, I could cruise down here. Now I haven't been all the way down there in a long ass time, so I don't know what to expect. I wish I could have went down that trail, but I don't know who that is that was there. That's definitely not the owner of the land. So I don't know who that is. I don't know if maybe he's leased out the land or something. Um, in that case, I, I really don't want to go riding on it because. You know, he's farming on it. Whoever leased it. But yeah, I got my, my new brush guards put on. I got my new mirror here. I'll show you in just a second. Some of you may recognize it if... It's kind of a popular mirror to get because they're, they're super cheap, but they just, you know, kind of fold in like that. So we're going to ease on back here to this other trail. Uh, still haven't got bigger pegs yet, but like I said, I got my full body armor in. I'm not wearing all of it, just wearing the, the vest, but the weather's kind of cooled down a little bit today, so I'm wearing a jacket over it. We'll ease on down here. Now, I haven't been down this thing in probably, uh, I don't know, 15 years so i don't know what the hell to expect down here i know cows have lived back here since we used to have four-wheeler trails um now they're farming a little bit back here so i don't know what the hell to expect but we'll ease on down here anyway i guess they're planting some cotton all this over here wow look at that man they cleared that crap out all this over here used to be trees and woods and stuff we had a bunch of trails back through there huh that's interesting look at that man they completely hollowed that out i would ride back there but i don't know i, I don't know it looks like a little road or something there we can go check it out it's one of those things like it rained a crap load yesterday and I don't know what kind of terrains back there. Like I'd hate to go in there and then get stuck. Okay. I don't know. I don't see an entrance into there. There's like a fence around it. Bit of mud. Oh, I lost traction on my tire there for a second. Hmm, 
that looks super deeper than it looks. Wet sand, man. I can feel it sloshing under my rear tire. Yeah, so this used to be like a little trail. It used to be a lot more overgrown than this. I guess they've done a lot of riding on it or something. But yeah, basically just cut through my dad's, the back of my dad's property. Um, it's kind of a field road at one time, maybe in the past. And it cuts back to this road over here. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys real quick. I thought somebody was in that truck <laughs> but yeah see it basically it was a way for us to skip school I'll be honest with you we'd leave the house sometimes and then just ride around the the thing and then come right back here <laughs> just chill out back here oh whoa this ain't the I'm not even on the road where the hell am I at my damn visor fogged up for a second there and I lost track of where the hell I was about lost it there <laughs> I can't see shit hang on I gotta open my visor here we go that's better. a lot better <laughs> I just, like I exhaled and then when I inhaled and my, vi my visor unfogged a little bit I was like where the hell am I at, man? Like, all of a sudden, I, I didn't see this road anymore. I was like bushwhacking back there. I didn't know what I was doing or where I was at. <laughs> that shit was slushy. All right, let's see. I don't know I don't know if there's a way back there I don't know if I got the best tires to be trying to cut through all that crap I don't know that looks like some kind of little road right there let's check it out I might be wrong it might not actually be a road damn this shit's wet underneath this grass that's what kind of concerns me about this is with the grass growing up you can't really damn look at that big old man that big old mud puddle there yeah i kind of think maybe i don't want to go back there simply because yeah i can see water all up underneath that stuff like this man is way deeper than you think i know that from four wheeling back here like it'll look like solid ground and it'd be like damn quicksand. You'll be sunk two feet on your bike. I might want to wait on that to dry out. Hell, I don't even see a road back there. They had to have got back there somehow. But there's like a fence. You guys see the fence right there? I don't know how to get in there. I could jump in there. Uh... But that's all right, I know. Whoa. Damn, that shit was wet. I stand up a little bit here, man. Control my bike a little better. This crap's wet. Like, I know it looks flat and all. And that shit, that right there is what'll deceive you back here. Especially around farmland, where they're plowing and all this stuff. Like, the soil is just super mushy. <clears throat> so like you kind of got to be careful around that crap let's see I'm going to ease on off over this way is this a road yeah, yeah I don't know what this shit is but we're going to take it anyway whoa I hit cow shit <laughs> I, about, I about lost it on some cow shit oh man see I don't know whoo is that a hole I don't fucking know, man. I don't think so. Let's try it. Okay. Whoa. 
Whoa! This shit is slick as, oh my god, dude. Holy cow. I'm fishtailing, man. I can feel it. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's turn around. Fuck this. Oh, man. <clears throat> this shit is, I don't have the tires for this. Holy cow. God damn, dude. Okay, I'm sinking. I'm sinking down in this shit. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Holy crap, this shit's mushy as hell. Oop. Stalled. Holy man. Oh! Wow, this shit is slick. Oh man, I'm all over the place. Like my, my tail end is. It's weird because my front's staying straight, but my tail, holy shit. <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm making it though. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. I'm good. <laughs> fuck that. Let's go back here. Holy shit. That was some damp, mushy, boggy shit, man. I don't have knobbies on. Fuck that. Wouldn't have been so bad if I had a little bit more traction in the rear. I'd have kept on going, but I just, man, I ain't got them kind. Of, I've got Shinko 705s on here. If I had some 5050s or something like that, maybe I'd have kept on pushing it but hell no that was some mushy stuff all right so we're just gonna cruise on up the road and i reckon see if we can find somewhere else to go you know like i want to ask my neighbor across the street um he's got like some land behind his house and there's a trail that goes back there let me shut my visor now there's a trail that goes back there. I know it's like a hunting trail and everything, and I know there's hunters that go back there, but I'd like to ask him, like, hey, man, is it cool if I ride back there or something? Because, like, I just, I just don't know. I don't know the owners of these properties anymore. See, back when we were in high school, which was in 2000 and earlier, I graduated in 2000, so, um, yeah, we knew everybody around here. You know, we went to school with their kids and all this stuff. But, like, now, a lot of those people have moved off. And there's different people that own these properties. And I don't know these people. Because, you know, I, like, moved off. And I lived in South Korea for a while. I lived in Toronto, Canada for a while. I stayed gone from this area for probably, like, almost 10 years. 8 to 10 years, something like that. And a lot of these people just don't live in these areas no more. So I don't, I don't know what trails I can ride, but that's the road I'm talking about right there. See, it kind of goes back into there. I had to ask him and find out if it'd be cool if I could do that. I realigned my fork, so let me check. Yeah, no wobble or nothing, so I guess we're good on that. It feels different in the front now. It's like a lot more rugged feeling, like rough. And see, like I used to know the guy that owned this, and we used to ride four-wheelers back in there and everything. I mean, that's some cool little trails. It's just, I don't know these people anymore. By people, I mean the owners. But yeah, really, I mean, this vlog, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, my mirror I got put on, my hand guards I got put on. I'll stop up here and uh, walk around to the front and let you guys see them and everything. But yeah, my handlebars actually look straight now. I don't know if you guys could tell from the previous video to now. The handlebars look straight. Um, front tires actually in line with the front fender again and all that. But I think the tires had, I think with the roof I'm feeling is, um, I think the tires had kind of worn in over those 200 miles that he had on them. They had worn into the, you know, the improper alignment 
and so it felt smoother that way and now that it's straight again you know it's like feeling rough again almost like brand new tires feel until they've kind of worn in a little bit but um i'll ease in here real quick and let you guys um I'll do a walk around so you guys can see my my stuff here. Uh, all right, I ain't even gonna shut it off because it's kind of cold and it'll end up having a cold start. But there's um, you know, they're only 35 bucks off Amazon, and I know as soon as I take a good hard fall, I can tell by this metal it's gonna snap right here. It probably won't snap right there because it's I don't know it might snap right at the head if it bends and all. I had a time fitting them on there, man, because I had to move a bunch of stuff. Let me hope my visor is starting to get warm again. But, uh, yeah, that's that. And then this right here, my little flip-out mirror. These things are cool as shit, man. I used to have these on my four-wheeler. Um, they're cheap as hell. By cheap, I mean both price and uh, make. My other one I had right there, I already broke it. I broke it putting it on but um but yeah you know it's just something to keep you street legal and um you know fold down when you're on the trails and fold up when you're riding down the road it's super like uh, super positionable let's get back to moving here because my helmet's starting to fog up again um got my visor down right now I cannot wait till I get me an adventure helmet. I don't want to go full motocross. At first, I thought I was going to get go full motocross helmet just to have a really good peak and everything on it. But um, then I realized, like, nah, it might be a little overkill. Because, yeah, they're super lightweight, but they're noisy as shit on the road. That's one thing I don't like about off-road helmets is they're just stupidly noisy. But... That's because they're, they have a lot of airflow to them, which you want, you know, when you're doing a lot of slow technical stuff, like on the dirt or on trails or something, you breathe really heavy and you get really hot really quick. And um, you just can't get enough air. Like this helmet, see, I have two microphones um, right behind my chin and one of them's actually touching my lip. So there's not a lot of room in the front of the helmet for me to have air um which i realized real quick with those two microphones in here it's hard to breathe when i'm doing slow technical stuff i have to end up opening my visor even if it's not fogged up simply because i just can't get enough air if you know what i mean and um that's one thing motocross and adventure helmets you know they have that stretched out chin that's why it's stretched out partly for looks yeah sure but the function behind it is so you get a lot more room in this bottom area for you to get air to inhale you know because you kind of need to let's see try to wear this tire in a little bit making sure it doesn't feel wobbly or anything nah it feels pretty good I can definitely tell these hand guards are pushing against the wind a little bit more but that's all right the plastic on them feels really really good the metal eh, not so much damn that mirror is vibrating like a bell that's all right though yeah I'm wearing this white jacket I couldn't find a jersey or a big enough shirt to go over this body armor that I have um, underneath this I'm wearing the that Chinese body armor it's actually got some pretty good reviews and I can feel you know that it now it's not gonna do shit for me if I fall on the street here but off-road yeah man it'll keep briars from sticking me and you know all that kind of stuff if I fall into briars so you know it does its job I don't know who that is there, but I kind of still want to ride around there anyway. 
ease on up. He's probably in the deer stand back there, and I'll be the I'll be the guy that fucks him up. I'll roll up. Ran, ran, ran. What you doing, bird? Well, I was gonna shoot a deer, bub, but you scared him off. I tell you what, my legs are cold right now, man. Holy cow. I got, um, when I say full body armor, I ordered a set. It was like a hundred bucks. So I got the, the ch oh shit, did I just knock the camera? No. It's got the chest and all that stuff. And then it's got some um, stuff you wear under your pants that has like your thigh and your tailbone and all that stuff, protection. And then um, it's got actual knee guards that um, will tuck inside. Oh, that was a snake will tuck inside your boots when I actually get some boots but I think helmet and boots are my next um, and technically once I get the helmet well technically once I get the boots I'll be full at gap but I don't consider myself an at gap until I have an adventure helmet with a peak Man, see, like, I know the people that own this property, but I don't know them well enough. The, the way I know them is um, the lady taught my little sister um, at dance. So, like, my little sister knows her. I just know her through my little sister. But, I don't know, man. That's the problem right here, man. You, you just can't take off on trails. People around here will shoot you. Like, I know y'all think I'm playing, but anybody that's from the deep south knows exactly what the hell I'm talking about. You'll get shot rolling up on somebody's property around here. It don't it don't work like that. <laughs> but see, I don't know where any fire roads or anything are around here. I wish I did. But Jody and them, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know who Jody is. Jody actually, um, what is that in the, in my shadow? Something's sticking right here. I don't know what that is. Um, but Jody actually, oh, that's the mirror. Jody who owns the, uh, Circle City Cycles, him and, uh, his co-worker there, I cannot ever remember that guy's name. They both ride dual sports. So, like, they go out riding on trails and stuff all the time. See, there's no traffic past the sign. So, I may hook up with them um, sometime because at the moment, I, you know, I just got this the other day. They don't even know I have it yet. So, maybe they might be like, hell yeah, man, I know where to ride it. Oh, there's a lake back there? What the heck? I never noticed there was a lake back there. Maybe when the storm knocked a bunch of those trees down. You know, you can actually see it from the road now, but I never even knew that. I think we already passed. There was a snake in the road, a dead one, I think. I think it was a snake. It looked like a snake. I think we already passed it, though. I was going to stop and look at it, but... Yeah, we already passed it. Bummer. I kind of was hoping the snakes had gone away because it's cooled off a little bit. I want to stop and talk to whoever it is that's in that truck, but they're not in the truck, which makes me think they're probably in the deer stand. And I don't want to, you know, like I said earlier, I don't want to be that guy that pulls up and screws his hunting day up with my loud bike. But the trails go way back in those woods back there. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, mainly it was to show you guys you know some of the things I've done in the bike so far I changed my mind about painting it I did want to paint it white but actually I'm kind of digging it black like this it's not that bad I feel like that tire is not balanced but it looks balanced I mean the rims not wobbling the tire looks like it's jumping up and down but that's just suspension wise because it's kind of a bumpy road um, but that's it you guys if you have any questions or comments or you know want to talk about the XT225 you know, leave your questions and comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next moto vlog. Mirror mask out. Peace.